Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my Louisiana Tech football predictions for the 2019 college football season. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated if you do that. I have a subscriber goal of 200 subscribers, which I'll love to hit by August 24th. So go ahead and hit that subscriber button. If you're not subscribed already, you won't regret it, and it will be greatly appreciated if you do that. Louisiana Tech will go through the pros and cons, best case, worst case scenario. Three toughest, three easiest games, and we'll go through the schedule game by game. I'll tell you which games are Louisiana Tech winning and losing, give you a score for each, for, um, each one as well, and then give you a final record prediction and a conference record prediction. Well, I have a quick note before I continue. Don't hold me to the game by game picks and the scores. Just hold me to the final record predictions at the end. So let's get through this. Uh, two pros and one con for Louisiana Tech. We'll start off with the pros, your defense. Louisiana Tech, they have a pretty good defense. I think they're going to have one of the better defenses in the Conference USA, if not the best defense defense in the con the uh, Conference USA. I personally think that Louisiana Tech actually will have the best defense in the Conference USA. So that's a pro. Your second pro is your head coach, Skip Holtz, um, or Holtzy, or yeah, Skip Holtz, excuse me, my handwriting is garbage. But anyways, I do think that um, he is a pretty good head coach. He, he seems to have Louisiana Tech hang, heading in the right direction. So I do think he's a head coach, and I do think that's a pro for Louisiana Tech. You want to kind of the schedule. This is a tough schedule. I mean, on the road against Texas, then FIU, you do get FIU at home. I mean, you have to. You get North Texas at Marshall at UAB. So, Southern Miss at home won't get, be a give me either. I mean, this is a tough schedule, and I'll talk about it more here in a second. Speaking about that second, we're at the second now. Best case and worst case scenario. Here's the schedule right here in front of you. Best case scenario, ten and two. I look at the schedule. You're at least losing two games. Probably Texas and either the Marshall game or the UAB game. Uh, pick your choice out between Marshall and UAB. You're losing at least two games on the schedule. Worst case scenario, six and six. I do think you make a bowl game this year, no matter what, even if you do struggle some, because I think that defense is the number one defense in the conference USA, and they will lead you to six games. I look at the schedule: Gremlin State, uh, Bowling Green, Rice, UMass, UTEP, UTSA. Those are five games right there that I think you win no matter what. And I think you'll find a way to pull off another win somewhere. So. Best case scenario ten and two. Worst case scenario six and six. Three toughest games: Texas, UAB, North Texas. Uh, Texas needs no explanation. UAB. People think they are the best team in the conference USA. Um, I beg to differ on that, but people do think that. And then North Texas, they're. I think they're better than you. They're in your division, but you do get them at home. So we'll see what happens there. Um, I know I said like Marshall is a tough game as well, but I think North Texas is the tougher game. Three easiest games, Gremlin State, UTEP and Rice, Gremlin State, FCS opponent, one of the better FCS schools though, so they might give you a little bit of a fight. Uh, UTEP, terrible team, Rice, terrible team. And by the way, um, I am predicting Rice to go 0-12 this year. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. I always pick a team to go 12-0. And team to go 0 and 12. This year I'm picking two teams to go 12 and 0, and one team going 0 and 12. And that 0 and 12 team is going to be Bryce. Now let's go through the schedule game by game. I'll tell you which games I have Louisiana Tech winning and losing. First game on the road against Texas, loss. Um, listen, I've watched a bunch of videos the past week or so with uh, week one picks. There's a few pick people. There's a few people picking this game as an upset. People are thinking that you guys could possibly go into Texas. Into Austin and beat them. Now, I'm a Maryland Terps fan, and we did go into Austin two years ago and beat the brakes off them, and we also beat them last year as well. So, you do have that going for you. I have to go with Texas here. If it was Maryland, uh, no questions asked, I'll be going with Maryland. Texas, if it was Maryland versus uh, Texas, if I was doing the Maryland football predictions, I'm not picking Maryland to lose to Louisiana Tech, believe me. But, Louisiana Tech. You guys are going to lose 34 to 14, Texas. Next game, Gremlin State win. They'll play you tough, but at the end, I have to give it to you guys 34 to 6, Louisiana Tech. Next game, at Bowling Green win. They're terrible, 40 to 13, Louisiana Tech. Next game, FIU at home. This is interesting. I think FIU, um, I think it was a little bit of a fluke last year. I still think they're a decent team, but I think it was a little bit of a fluke last year. They came out of nowhere. I think you beat them. The game's at home, 26 to 10. 
Louisiana Tech. Next game, Matt Rice win 45 0. Then you get your first bye week. Coming out the bye week, UMass at home win 33 3. By the way, UMass football predictions are going to be out tomorrow. Yes, I have to do all the independence type of ways. I have to do New Mexico State and UMass, though, they're coming out tomorrow. I, I don't feel like doing them. I understand the pain. Next game, Southern Miss. Listen, Southern Miss, they're one of those teams like, I brought it up in, I think, the. Uh, it was either the Marshall video or the Florida Atlantic video. I was having a conversation earlier um, with someone and we, earlier today, actually, and I was talking about how, like, there's a handful of teams, usually, like, at least one team in each conference that's just going to play everybody tough and see what happens. Southern Miss is that team in the conference, should I say. You'll beat them, but they're going to play you tough. It'll be kind of low scoring, 23-13 to 13, Louisiana Tech. Next game at UTEP win 42 to 3. I don't think you shut them out, unlike Rice. I think UTEP's better than Rice this year. Then you get your second bye week. Then coming off the bye week, North Texas at home. Uh, if you already saw the North Texas football prediction video, you already know who I have in this one. Listen, North Texas, they're, I think they're better than you, but this is your homecoming game, and it's at home. I'm giving it to Louisiana Tech. 33 to 27, Louisiana Tech. I think you keep the offense in check enough. To beat North Texas. Next game, Friday night game on the road against Marshall. And by the way, the FIU game was also a Friday night game. I felt like I forgot to say that when I went over that game. But, anyways, the Friday night game, Louisiana Tech also has a Friday night game on the road against Marshall. Uh, if you saw my Marshall uh, football predictions earlier today, you already know who I have. I went back and forth with this one. I think you're better than Marshall. But every year, a college football team wins a game that they're not supposed to win and loses a game they're not supposed to lose. I think this is the one. I think Marshall beats you by a field goal in a low-scoring game, 17-14 to 14 Marshall. So you kind of have to go to Louisiana, to West Virginia, up uh, I think up U.S. Route 11, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm going with Marshall, 17-14. to 14. Next game at UAB. Um, once again, a team in UAB, I think they're a tick better than Louisiana Tech. This is going to be a low-scoring game. I gave it to UAB by two points, 17 to 15. If you already watched the uh, UAB football prediction video, you already knew that. But I think UAB is just a tick better than Louisiana Tech. Give me UAB win, 17 to 15. And then your final game, UTSA at home, win. They're mediocre, UTSA. They're like two steps above UTEP and Rice. Give me Louisiana Tech to win that one, 35 to 7. So if you count up all the wins and losses, since I just went through the schedule, I have Louisiana Tech going 9 and 3 with a 6 and 2 conference record. 9 and 3 with a 6 and 2 conference record. Pretty good season. I think you guys went 9 and 3 last year, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. But Louisiana Tech, they're one of the better teams in the conference USA. I think they have the best defense in the conference USA, and I just think they're going to have a good season. So 9-3 and three with a 6-2 and two conference record. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. I always like hearing from you all. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel. It will be great. We appreciate if you do that. Thanks for watching. And this is McDee the Beast signing off.